All right, guys, went back today with another high value upper assembly from Aero Precision, and I've been shooting a lot of Aero rifles lately thanks to Optics Planet. They sent this one out to the channel as well as included a code 704TAC for 5% off your Optics Planet order. They sent this one as well as a mini M4 upper, and I've got a full review on that. And ever since just shooting these two recently, I've just re fallen in love with Aero Precision. They've always made high quality components for the AR 15 platform, they've never skimped, and they always come in at a good price point. Now, granted, they're a little bit more than some other uppers I review on this channel. A lot of times I review uppers that are three to $400 complete with BCG and charging handle. This one generally sells for about $515. They're on sale on Optics Planet's website for right around $440 to $435, depending on the configuration you select. And then you've got that code to save yourself some money. But they don't include a BCG or charging handle. I'm running a PSA or Palmetto State Armory premium charging handle or premium bolt carrier group and charging handle. I'll leave a link to my campsite page in the description below. My campsite page is an aggregate site of all the best deals. You can get premium BCGs as low as $69 over there. Definitely check them out. Before we get too far into the review, I do want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sponsoring the channel with some ammo. They send over 223, 9mm, and a wide variety of other calibers. They also have new manufactured and subsonic ammunition, all at affordable prices, and you can use the code 704 Tactical for free shipping on ammo orders over $200. Definitely check them out. You won't be disappointed. Now, what drew me to this upper assembly was not only the build quality and the price point for a more premium upper like Aero Precision, but was, was the rail system. The rail system on this guy is pretty darn slick. Now it comes with a standard muzzle brake. We swapped it out for one that came in a tack pack and this one features a 16 inch barrel and then it's going to have a 15 inch M-Lock rail system. You can find all the detailed specs and features on their website, but I love their rail system. Now, traditionally, ARs are getting slimmer and slimmer rail systems. I was talking with my cameraman today that a lot of times when we're cycling through guns down at the range for t and &E, I run a couple of mags through one, set it down, pick up another one so it can cool down, and we just keep cycling through the guns and reloading mags. Well, with this rail system, it's a little bit wider than most, and I love that. It keeps your hand further away from the gas block, further away from the gas tube, and further away from the barrel. It also has, as you can see here, cuts everywhere to remain strong, but also to leave a lot of air holes and air vents, as well as reduce the mass so it balances well, and it keeps your hands away from the hot components, allowing this system to be strong and cool, and I love that. If you're shooting competitions or just getting into a budget battle rifle where you're going to be dumping mag after mag after mag, having the ability to keep holding on to this rail system without gloves may be a key component of that, and this rail system allows you to do that. Again, it's got very nice cuts and texturing all over the side to get a good grip, and it's got M-lock attachments everywhere you need it. A monolithic pick rail at the top, which is absolutely perfect. A lot of companies are cutting out this middle section, and I can't stand that. I love running tapes switches, pressure pads, and when you're talking about some of the Olight Odins or Streamlights or Surefires, those pressure pads snap right on the pick rails, so it's nice to put that pressure pad right in the center, hang your light off the side, and we'll be setting this up in the future when I get some more lights out to the channel. This one also has QD slots on the side, so you can set up those two-point slings. I love attaching one to the stock and one up to the rail system, and those QD slots work out great. Also, all the edges are chamfered nicely. There's no sharp edges other than the pick rails at the top. And again, once you add that pressure pad and tape switch and then cover it with ladder rail covers, it smooths out perfectly and it balances nicely. It also has anti-rotation tabs on the top so it doesn't rotate left or right. So if you mount lasers like IR lasers for night vision shooting, it's not going to shift on you. Moving along to the upper assembly, you're looking at a more billet style upper assembly with a standard forward assist dust cover. And then again, I added the basic charging handle and premium BCG from PSA. Functioned 100% down at the range with no issues whatsoever. It fed 100%, no issues. It cycled great, it ejected great. Overall, it was just a solid running farm, and I've never had an Aero Precision that I've had problems with cycling steel or brass cased ammo, and this was no different. I set up at about 100 yards to test out this Athlon Optics 1 to 10 that Optics Planet sent out, and I was dropping them really tight groups. Now, I didn't get a chance to uh, 
bench rest this, but it was plenty accurate, way more accurate than me, especially resting off the back of a truck. So this is a solid 16 inch option. Anything from CQB, personal defense, all the way out to two, 300 yards. You could probably stretch it further, but that's about the extent that I use my 16 inch guns for. And it worked out great at all of those ranges. In a nutshell, if you don't mind spending a little bit more on your upper assembly and you want something with a more premium feel but also don't want to break the bank, check out Aero Precision and check out Optics Planet. Again, I've reviewed this particular one in the Mini M4, but when you go and click some of those links, well, unfortunately, I can't link to it. When you search some of this stuff that I post in the description below, you'll be able to see different configurations and save yourself money on all of them. That code works on everything, so definitely check them out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So I hope you guys like the video. I hope it gives you another high value option in the AR-15 world and stay tuned for the Athlon 1 to 10 video. I love it. It's a first focal plane 1 to 10. It's a pretty darn awesome setup and again a high value and almost a perfect match for this upper assembly. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.